Good morning folks, how you doing? So we're in the workshop and I'm actually picking up the camera rather late today which uh, is my bad. So what I did when I come in was clean the whole place up, really blitzed it. Oh hello mate. <laughs> We've got a vulture. Hey. You alright bud? Yeah, so as I was saying, that Sambo has just come in. Now it looks hazy in here, but it act on the camera, but it actually isn't. There's no haze. But looking on the camera lens here, it looks hazy, it's weird. So as I was saying, uh, I was going to make a start for the toilet door, the main door today. It only needs toilets printing on it. Maybe a couple of, uh, couple of words, nice and simple. Don't have to go to town with this door. And uh, then also, what I've done this morning, I know I should have picked the camera up and I'm a twat for not, but uh, I've installed a power bar along the front of the workbench, which I can now plug the table saw and whatnot into. And then that's also connected to the vac over there. So as soon as we turn any of the power tools on, the vac kicks in automatically. I did have somebody asking uh, or mentioning about the dust when I'm using the table saw. They said, why don't you put the vacuum on the table saw? Well, I do. That's what this bit's for here, look. So this little fella goes in there like that and then that sucks out all of the dust from the table saw but unfortunately the table saw is not as powerful as I'd hoped. The table saw, the freaking vacuum. <laughs> so uh, I've got my eyes peeled for a new dust extractor, a proper workshop dust extractor, you know. So uh, I've actually found one on an auction website, so don't gazump me on it if anybody else spots it. It's a twin head vacuum dust extractor and uh, if I can get that instead of using this Titan vac here, that is going to give me sort of tons more vacuum, tons more suction for all the dust in here, which will all contribute to keeping this place as clean as possible during the workday. So enough waffle, let's do some freaking work before the day is gone, before we've started. So one of the jobs I've got in mind for today is to install this router into my tabletop. So as Schnuz said on one of his comments the other day on my last video, video before, when I made the handles over there for the drawers, they were crying out for a round over on the edge of them. Yes, they were, but my router is not set up. I've got a trim router over there, but I've got to get one 10 volt box out and I can't be bothered. So I'm going to install the router on a piece of plexiglass or acrylic, it's not polycarbonate, it's acrylic sheet and uh, this is 8mm thick acrylic which I picked up from Trent Plastics in Gainsborough, Stuart fetched me it today. It's clear and I'm hoping I can inlay this into the worktop on a rebate or a rabbit, whatever you call it, and uh, that'll sit flush with the tabletop. And then I can just drop the router in and out as required and store the router under the table as well in its stowed away position. So I'm gonna cut this up, I'm gonna cut the table, and we're gonna see if we can't get one to fit t'other.
Let's turn that dust extraction off. So it's a little bit quieter. All we can hear humming in the background is the battery charger. So what do you think? I reckon it'll work. We just need to make some blocks for the fence. So what I'd like to do is for the oh, focus framing. So for the fence over here, we'll have the fence adjustable as it is on the threaded bar, which we've already made. But the blocks will have a cutout on the back. In fact, I might even have something off an old table saw fence that I can use so that we don't lift the blade by accident and hit the wood and also so that the blade can be behind the wood so to speak because we might only want to do light shaving passes or if we put some type of molding bit on we can use it to put molding on trims and picture frames and that kind of stuff but I'm pleased with it that's another string to the bow get in so uh, well the shops really coming on leaps and bounds now isn't it we are going to be brewing next week so at some point I'm going to be weighing out the grains that'll be tomorrow probably and also we've got Sam in so if the weather's good we're going to start to work on the beer garden and we're going to start to uh, get the tables and benches put together but that is for another day so we'll see you on another day yeah all right see you tomorrow